Max, over to you. First, does unemployment at almost 11 percent, uh, which is the highest since the introduction of the common currency, mean, well, one of the meanings that the 17-member eurozone is in a recession, and that's just one of the consequences now? Well, the employment picture is bad pretty much everywhere, and the reason is uh, common amongst all these various countries. Uh, money is being printed, but it doesn't flow to wages or savings and pensions. It flows to asset price inflation and to bonuses for corrupt bankers. And this has been going on for a number of years now, and there's nothing in the pipeline that's going to stop this trend. Uh, there seems to be very little recourse for anyone to push back against this phenomenon of a, what I would call a sterilized inflation. That is to say that inflation only for assets that are owned by the bankers, but everyone else is suffering massive deflation, uh, wages falling apart, and no, no return on savings or pensions. Talk about money being in circulation. Senior European Commission official has said that the EU loses some 600 million euros to suspected fraud every year. That's the European Commissioner Director General for Justice, Francois Lebel. How is that possible for the EU to lose 600 million euros to fraud every year? Well, um, that's not that hard to do, really. Uh, when you consider, for example, the US, when they invaded Iraq, they lost $8 billion in cash uh, that they were trying to fly in on a, uh, a military transport uh, somehow went missing. But um, the, the level of graft and larceny in the IMF, the World Bank, Deutsche Bank, Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, to name a few, is enormous. When you pay out $140 billion in bonuses, as they do on Wall Street or at the various banks in Europe, that's just the tip of a multi-hundred billion, multi-trillion dollar money laundering uh, scam that goes on. As your previous guest just mentioned, the central banks lend money out to these banks at 1%. They, in turn, reinvest it with the central bank at 3%. So they make 2% carry. It's a carry trade to do absolutely nothing. They're not incentivized to put that money to work in the economy. They're making free 2% on their cash or more. And when you have that kind of moral hazard, when you have that kind of sloppiness in the central banking system to the tune of many trillions of dollars, of course you're gonna lose a few hundred million there and a few hundred million there. You know, it adds up after a time, but there's no accountability. There's no regulatory authority of any uh, note of any, uh, there's no, um, uh, there's no um, deterrent to, to committing financial fraud. Look at MF Global in the United States. J.B. Diamond and, and uh, J.P. Morgan have been caught stealing a billion dollars from customers. It's now not refuted, fully documented. There's no investigation. They simply say, well, you know, you win some, you lose some. Tough luck. You And, and, and of course, uh, J.P. Morgan has recently said that no account with less than $100,000 uh, they have no interest in those accounts because they don't make money, any money on them. And they're introducing a new, uh, a new uh, credit card for accounts with $25 million and above where they get to trade on the Forex market without being raped every day by Jamie Dimon. That's the benefit. Who pays for that? Everybody else through austerity measures. So we very much have an, a feudalism is alive and well. You've got a few feudal lords like the bankers in Europe and on Wall Street, and everyone else is basically an indentured servant. There's over a trillion dollars in bad student loans in America. That's the next bubble to pop. That's another huge wave of youth about to be thrown into the street with, with a trillion dollars of debt and told, go to a concentration camp and die, you pig. We don't care about you. You know, that's the message from Jamie Dimon today and Chase Manhattan. Go die in a concentration. The biggest growth industry in America is the prison industry. Why is that? It's the only growing industry in America is the prison industry. That's the most profitable industry. And the bankers are aiding and abetting the entrapment of folks with forcing debt down their throat and forcing them to go to prison. And that's the economy.
Max Kaiser, we know that this has been said also that this is not a situation where you can get a quick fix regarding the Eurozone. Combined, I think uh, 17 countries have on paper $10 trillion in debt. So if we can talk uh, in, in, in terms of uh, uh, the general 17-nation block Eurozone, what is going to lead to a path that uh, we can see some improvements in terms of the respective economies? Is what Angela Merkel suggested in terms of having, uh, what, an official at every in every governmental financial institution in each country the solution to go on her uh, way of de uh, tackling this? No. <laughs> you know, I mean, the problem is that a country like Greece cannot defend itself against financial terrorists like Goldman Sachs. So they have no way to defend themselves, and, and that's a problem. Uh, you know, so much of the crime has been committed from the rating agencies who have come in with ratings that were bought and paid for by the, by the banks and the hedge funds that were selling short these countries like Greece as a way to facilitate the destruction of Greece. I would suggest that Greece open their own rating agency and they start putting a rating out on U.S. Treasury debt or British Treasury debt or Israeli Treasury debt and call it what it is, junk American is triple C rated, and they should get the focus of the global attention on the junk status of a U.S. Treasury bond because the Greek Treasury paper is backed up by real assets. They've got hundreds of billions of dollars worth of assets. They're, those assets are being stolen by foreign bankers for pennies. Uh, they, the, the Troika, of course, the three uh, members of the ECB, IMF, EU, they just got Greece to sign off 111 tons of gold. Okay, that's, their, that's one of their assets. They should not, Greece should not be forced to disgorge their gold, their gold reserves. The, the Germans already stole a lot of their gold during World War II. Now the Germans are going to steal the rest of their gold. So there has to be a way to fight back for Greece. You know, they can create their own rating agency, number one. Number two, they should arrest Goldman Sachs bankers immediately, take them to The Hague, try them for human rights abuses, and hang them. I think that would be a too good for a Goldman Sachs. And they should then go right down the list, find these bankers, prosecute them. They're war criminals. They're, they're human rights violators. They should be hung.